Karma is a web application that enables users to interactively model structured sources according to an ontology. In this demonstration, we will focus on modeling faculty member data to the Vivo ontology. The system has the Vivo ontology preloaded, but you may load other ontologies required for modeling your data. Now we import the data that we are planning to model. Karma offers different import options, but for this demonstration, we import a CSV file containing USC faculty information. We get a preview of the data, and if the data appears as expected, we can import it. During the modeling process, each column of data is assigned a semantic type. Karma uses the assigned type and the data in that column to train the system to recognize the type in the future. By choosing the Show Model option, the system suggests an initial model based on previously learned types. Initially, the system does not have any semantic type information, so during the first modeling session, all columns are unassigned. Now we assign appropriate semantic types to each of the columns. Person ID uniquely identifies a faculty member, so we mark it as a key. Now we proceed to assign semantic types to the remaining data. We define title as the preferred title of faculty member. But title is also the label of a position, so we add it as a synonym semantic type. Now, title has two semantic types, preferred title being the primary type for this column. The primary types are used by Karma to compute the minimum tree that connects the assigned semantic types via properties in the ontology. This tree is presented in the GUI just above the data. For department, we do something similar. We map it to organization ID and label. At this point, we define appropriate semantic types for each of our columns, and we see the tree that the system generates. We would like the classes that we defined, faculty member, 
position and department to be connected by the object properties position for person and position in organization. We proceed to change the links between the classes to reflect this. In order to do this, we click in the tree at the location where we would like to make the change and we choose the desired object property. In this case, we choose position for person. After a user selection, the system re-evaluates the minimum tree. Now we want to link position and department. So we choose position in organization. At this point, we have a model that we are happy with. The next step is to generate RDF. In the Publish RDF dialog box, you can specify a RDF namespace. For use with Vivo, the namespace should be the default namespace defined during your Vivo installation. You can also specify if the RDF should contain inverse properties. For Vivo compliant RDF, this should be checked. The RDF is saved in a file that you can view and download. Now we have RDF that complies to the Vivo ontology, so we can import this RDF directly into Vivo. and we can see the data that we imported.